OK, for more on this, we are joined by independent economist Michael Riddell. Michael, uh, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Uh, the blame game, well and truly underway here. Where do you sit on that? Oh, pretty clearly the ultimate responsibility rests with the Reserve Bank. Um, they're given an inflation target by the government. They're made, given independent powers to adjust monetary policy. Um, and poor inflation outcomes, particularly trend inflation, uh, the, the persistent bits of it, are, are only the Reserve Bank's responsibility. You know, whatever the government does in terms of increasing spending or cutting taxes, there are all sorts of things the Reserve Bank has to take into account when it makes its interest rate decisions. And it's quite clear that they and a lot of other people badly misforecast where things were going a year or so ago and had policy in the wrong place. And then when they finally realised that they needed to be raising interest rates in the middle of last year, they were pretty slow to adjust. Uh, the responsibility rests with them. Now, they can't control oil prices, short-term fluctuations there. But what they'll be focusing on and what they should be focusing on is that when they strip out those one-off um, influences and see that core inflation is now running well above the bank's 1% to 3% target. So what exactly did they get wrong then? Which, which things did they under or overestimate? Ultimately, they underestimated the extent to which the economy was going to recover strongly. Uh, if you look back at their forecasts in February last year, uh, they expected that unemployment would stick around 5% right through this period. In fact, it's been 3.2%. Now, 3.2% is an unemployment rate that this economy simply can't sustain uh, without having rising inflation. Pretty much all economists expect, uh, think that unemployment probably needs to be between 4 and 4.5% 4 to be consistent with stable inflation. And so having misjudged that, they then misjudged where monetary policy needed to be, where the OCR needed to be, for example. And it wasn't until October last year that they started raising rates. Now, when you raise the OCR, it takes the best part of nine to 12 months to really start having much effect on inflation. Uh, so today's inflation outcomes are the result of those erroneous choices they were making a year ago. OK, so given that, where do you see it going from here? Because they have now raised interest rates. So are things going to turn around? Oh, they will need to raise them quite a bit further. And I think the governor more or less indicated that in the interview that he did with the IMF the other day. Um, the OCR adjusted for inflation is now lower than it was two years ago. Uh, it needs to be higher than it was to get inflation down again. We've got a, a substantially overheated domestic economy. That's that unemployment rate. And we need to see things slowing down. On their own, they won't slow down. Uh, and so interest rates need to be raised quite a bit further uh, to engender a slowdown in the economy and a probably a rise in the unemployment rate. OK, uh, got that, that's going to scare a lot of people, uh, more unemployment and higher interest rates. Just very quickly here, uh, what should the politicians be doing here? What should Grant Robertson be doing in his budget? <sighs> There's not a lot that it makes sense for the politicians to be doing in the budget. I mean, the way in which conventional policy has been seen over the last few decades is that you want fiscal policy to focus on the things that we elect politicians for, you know, the right tax policy, the right spending policies. You don't want them chopping and changing every few months. Monetary policy, by contrast, can be changed really easily. And we've put that at arm's length from politicians and said to the Reserve Bank, it's your job to keep things in check. Now, the sooner the Reserve Bank gets on um, and raises interest rates, the less disruptive it's likely to be. The biggest risk is that they continue to adjust only quite slowly. Inflation rises further from here, and then we need a recession uh, to get things down. OK. Uh, it's, it's, all, it's all a little bit grim, but thank you very much for your analysis uh, this evening, Michael. Good.